into a center position, grounding our energy and centering ourselves, coming present in the current moment and in the space, claiming our energy. If it's scattered, we're calling it and bringing it back. Today's intention is celebration. What do we say fine silverware and clothes and dessert for special occasions? Isn't today a special occasion? We're grieving and we've got much to be grateful for. It's a cause for celebration. Celebrate the joy of movement in your chair. Celebrate a body that can move, that listens and obeys your least whim that stretches and strengthens and changes according to the demands you place upon it. Celebrate each breath you take. Celebrate you. Our affirmation for today, my life is full of reasons for celebration. Can you say that with me? My life is full of reasons for celebration. Taking a moment to breathe into that intention, <coughs> allowing it to settle within us, <coughs> giving it energy, our focus. Focusing on our breath, bringing one hand to the heart, one hand to our tummy. As we fully inhale, I want you to feel as your lungs fill up. Slow as we exhale. Continue to breathe fully, making note of how that feels in your body. Celebrating every breath, every movement. Back in our seat, taking a breath, working on airplane arms, one arm, gently going back and forth. Keeping your gaze on your fingertips as it goes from 
front and back. Reversing it, going forward with the elbows. Good, bringing the hands down to the lot, taking a breath. Bringing the ear to the one shoulder, and gently going to the other side. Towards the right, bringing the chin towards the right. Holding here for a moment. And back to center. Taking a breath. Moving the chin towards the left. Good, coming 
back to center, taking a breath. Good, rotating in the opposite direction, so if you were going left, you'll go right. Shoulder to opposite knee for a side stretch. Holding here. Back to center. In a breath. Opposite side. Back to center. One more time. We're going to bring the arms up above. And on the next cell, we're going to twist towards the right. Holding here. Inhale, we're going to lift the arms up above. And we're going to go to the opposite side, going to the left. Holding here. We come up, exhale, we come towards the right, coming down. On the next inhale, we come up and land on the left side. Inhale, we come up and down onto her. Taking a moment here. Inhale, we're going to raise the arms. We're going to work on something called sundial. So we're going to grab our wrist. And we're going to lean towards the left. Okay. Good. Straighten it out. Grab the opposite wrist. Lean towards the right.
Next breath, bringing the arms up above, finding length in the spine and coming down with prayer hands. Breathing here. That's one set, we'll do two more. Inhale, bring the arms up above. Exhale, we come down, bend the at the elbows, forward fold. Bringing the left leg back, right knee bends. Good. Bringing both legs together, extending the arms out in front. Down dog. Bringing the heels up. Up dog. Back down into downward dog with the arms out in front. Bringing the right leg back this time. Left knee bends. Bringing both legs together, bending at the elbows. Forward fold. Next breath, bringing the arms up above, finding length, coming down into prayer hands. Taking a breath here. Last set, inhale brings us up. Exhale brings us down, bending at the elbows. Bringing the left leg back, right knee bends. Both legs together, extending the arms out in front, downward dog. Bringing the heels up, top of the head faces the ceiling, up dog. And coming back down into down dog, the arms out in front. Right leg back, back this time, left knee bends. Bringing both legs together, bending at the elbows, forward fold. Next breath, bringing the arms up above, bending length, and down into prayer hands. Holding here for a moment, breathing in. Good. Let's make it down to our seat. Grab some water if you want. Release it down. Inhale, bring 
lift us up. And exhale, rinse us down. circles and flowers and on the next cell we're going to drift down. Inhale big circle. Exhale down. Big circle. on the wrist. We're going to rotate, making circles. Rotating in the opposite direction. Good. Let's work with one hand. Palm out. And we're going to rotate it. Just bring fingers to point down. And bring the other hand Holding on to it for a little bit of a stretch here on the wrist. Good. Release. Other hand. Palm out. Rotate it. Holding on to the fingers. Good. And release. Can you grab your plate, please? I want you to have it like this, so that your fingers are over the plate. So about like that. Okay. Now try to get your thumb onto the plate as well. So you have all ten fingers on the plate. Good. So we're going to exercise the fingers. We're going to start with our left hand, and we're going to bring pinky up, pinky down, bring finger up. Try to make it just a ring finger. Oh boy, that's hard, huh? And down. Middle finger. And down. Try to force it to touch the, the plate. If it doesn't want to tell it, don't be lazy, you can do this. Okay, pointer up. And down. Thumb up. And down to touch the plate. Next hand. Thumb up. And down. Pointer and down. Middle and down. Ring finger and down. Pinky and down. Woo! Was that easy? No, that actually took some effort, huh? Okay, we're going to reverse it. We're going to start with the last pinky and we're going to come the opposite way. So pinky comes up and down. Ring finger up and down. Middle, down, pointer, down, good, thumb, down, 
opposite thumb. Down. Pointer. Middle. Ring. And baby. Good. Okay, take a breath. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to hold it with your fingers out. We're going to do some driving. Okay, so we're going to go towards the right. Let's see if I. There we go. Hand over hand, that's how we learn. At least that's how I learn. Nice. Okay, we're going to slow down. There's a slow turn here. Your car doesn't have power steering, it's from 1983. So you have to pull and yank it slowly. Nice. Okay, hold, we're at a light. Okay, we're gonna turn right here. Sorry, yeah, left, my right. <laughs> Good, straighten out. Good, we're going forward, so push it out. Since we have it forward, we're going to bring it out and in. Not that you would bring the steering wheel forward and back, but since we're here, we can do that movement. Good. We're here. Good. We're going to turn towards the right. Stop. Opposite direction. Left. Stop. Light again. Bring it forward, towards you, and out. Towards you, and out. Towards you, and out. Good. Now, put the car in park. Try the key. Now, you just wait. You're in an Uber. You're, wearing, you're waiting for your ride. Open the door. Person gets in. Close the door for them. Good. Now we can start again. Put it in drive. Oh, we didn't turn it on. Key. Back when cars had keys, mine is a button now. Put it in drive. Good. Here we go. Now it's a bumpy road. Yes. Very good. Here we go. Oh, no. Car coming our way. Good. We're doing great. Dead possum. <laughs> Good. Oh, some debris in the road. We just went over it. Good. Now turn left. Turning on to the street for the center. We're coming to the center. Good. Straighten out. Good. Slowing down. Good. We're going to turn right into the parking lot. My right, your left. Sorry. We're going to have to deal with my <laughs> reverse. Okay, we're going into the parking lot, coming to a spot. Uh, good. And I think we're in the parking spot. Do we look crooked? Do we need it even out? I think so. So reverse. Good. Drive. Good. I think that's good enough. Take the key out. Good. You can release your steering wheel. <laughs> and you can put it aside. Good, grab some water if you need it. That was fun, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can go to Yellowstone next time. Okay. So I'm going to need to move things out of the way. Okay, so we're going to do an exercise with the legs that I got from a, a teacher that works with people that have Parkinson's. So I want you to picture, we're going to picture that we have a baby koala over here. Okay, picture your baby koala, pat it on the head. Good. And we're going to have a baby penguin over here, pat it on the head. Okay, so baby koala, baby penguin. Okay, good. Now, our job is to get our leg over the animal that we have, right? So if I do this, what did I just do to my koala? I just kicked them in the head, right? And the same thing if I do this, I just kick the penguin and he's upside down in pain. <laughs> this is 
where my leg goes, oh! Okay, so how do I move my leg over there without kicking the koala or the penguin? Ah, I have to lift it and put it over. Okay. Then, good, over the koala. Let's do that again. Over the koala. And over the penguin. And over the penguin. Good. And over the koala. And over the penguin. Over the koala. Over the claws. Over the penguin. Ah, we're working on patterns too. Koala. And penguin. And penguin. And koala. And koala. Back to seven. Now you can send your animals off. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> nice work. Okay, let's grab our strap. Work with the strap next. Good. Let's work with our lower body first since we we're already working with the legs. Go ahead and put it underneath one foot. If you have a loop already, you can use it. Or you can just tie it around and hold it. Okay, we're gonna go up and down the steps. Ready? Just one foot. Hold here, take a breath. Now when we raise that, we're gonna bring it to the side. We're gonna hold on the side for a little bit. You need to grab onto the chair for additional support so that you're more balanced in your chair and you can do that. We go up and side. We're gonna hold here for a moment. And back to center and down. Take a breath. We'll do two more of those. And up. Hold. Three, two, one. Back to center and down. Take a breath. And up. And side holding. Three, two, and one. Center and down. Good. Switching legs. Heel to the ground. Opposite hand on the chair if you want additional support. Bring the foot up and down first. Up, down, two more. Good, take a breath. 
Now we're going to go up and to the side, and we're going to hold just like we did before. There we go. Up and side and hold. And center and down. Take a breath. Two more of those. Up and side. Hold. Center and down. Last one. Beautiful. Okay, you can pull it out of your foot. Let's work on upper body. Okay, so we're going to bring it out. And up. And down. And up. Good. 
set that up. Go to the other side. Same thing, other side. Grabbing and holding the chair with an arm slim. Start by pointing, anchoring the opposite leg. So you're going to anchor your right leg. Point in front. Point out. And behind. Front. Out. And behind. This time we're going into reverse. Out. And front. the left foot, staying with an arm's length from the chair, and we're going to move one foot front and back. Keep it from touching the ground. I want you to look at it and make sure that you're going in a straight line. I want you to draw like you're drawing a straight line on the ground with the foot that's going front and back. Back to center, and now it's going to go out and in. Good, bring it back to center. Now draw a circle. Good, bring it back to center. Take a breath. Draw a square. Wrong boy. <laughs> An oval. Tetrahedron. That looks like. Oh, sorry. Bring it back down. Good. Pedal the feet. Good. Let's go to the other side. our way back into our chair. Grab some water if you wish. And after you've had a sip of water, I want you to grab your block. We're going to do a, a side twist with the block. So we're going to bring our hands to prayer hands. 
side and when we get to the side with our hands and our hands we're going to dip and we're going to bring the elbow to to our block so you might need to position the block either sideways or forward whichever way works best for you you might want to experiment with what feels right so hands together coming to the side and then elbow down to the block with the opposite elbow pointing you push into the block, it helps the elbow that's up to stay in alignment. Hold in here. Three, two, and one. Release. Good. Shrug the shoulders. Good. Other side. Rear hands. Twisting to the side. Bringing the elbow down. Opposite elbow. Good. Holding here. Three, two, and one. Back to center. Go. Go ahead and put the block down. I'm going to switch the music for some Svasana. Yes. 